And uh, this started uh, f actually four years ago, but we're doing edition five. So this started in the hard lockdown back in 2020. And uh, we wanted to you know, conceptualize an initiative where we were not putting people at risk. And we said, how can we make a difference on Mandela Day? And that's how 67,000 litre for Mandela Day started. And over the last four years, we have produced just over 1.3 million cups of soup for those in need on Mandela Day. As the essence is to is the outreach to get people to actually benefit from the uh, from from all of the soup that has been produced. So just on 67,000 liters, um, that that impacts close to about 290,000 people just today. Chefs of Compassion does this every day of the year. People have to eat every day of the year. So we use this opportunity on Mandela Day to create the awareness of what we do, being rescue, cook and feed. In South Africa, we have a very high food wastage where approximately 10 million tons of produce goes to waste on an annual basis. And at the same time, we have close to 20 million people who are food insecure. So that's almost a third of our population. So whatever we you know, were able to rescue, it just goes to show you don't always need to have a potato and leek soup or a butternut soup. You can actually make soup with whatever ingredients you have. So for, for food rescue, if you want to have a look at the origins of Nash, it goes back to 2015 where I was running a soup kitchen and somebody arrived with two bags of bread and rolls and said, can you use this for your soup kitchen? And I said, well, of course. And that got me personally started on my journey with food waste, learning what it's all about. Then at the beginning of 2020, when we had, when Nash had so much produce, we then formed Chefs of Compassion because the hotels and the restaurants were standing empty. Remember, we were all in lockdown and, and Nash had all of this produce, so we started cooking for our beneficiary organization. Take that crate and the convenience stuff, the, the, those meals at the bottom. Can just come There's back. a lot of different sources that, that we source our donations from. Uh, you know, we had a, tin, a, a donation of 40 pallets of tin food without labels because there was a flood in one of the warehouses and all the labels rotted off. The food inside is fine, but it's not sellable. So it might be stuff that's reaching sell-by date. It might be short-dated stock. It could be from a market that is no longer fit to sell, but is still fine for consumption. So the food rescue is really across the board. Every step of the value chain, of the food chain, there is waste and we'd like to access that. 67,000 litres is a lot. It's a small swimming pool. It depends on whether you're looking at a pot this size or whether you're looking at a pot that size. So I don't think we can really quantify pots. Last year we did 105,000 litres. So we well exceeded our total last year. And I have a sneaky suspicion we're going to do it with the help of all these amazing kitchens and, and corporates and donors that are coming to party. I think we're going to at least make the 67,000 litres. And I would like to think, I would like to hope that we're going to exceed the 105,000 as well.